Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm going to show you how to cut felt and fabrics using the Cricut Maker Rotary Blade. This tool made me fall in love with felt and fabric projects because it is so easy to use and makes super clean cuts. It will take your custom crafting to a whole new level. I'm gonna walk you through everything step by step. This is the Cricut Rotary Blade. It's important to note that this tool is currently only compatible with the maker models of the Cricut machine, and it will not work with your Cricut Joy or Explore or any other type of Cricut machine. My rotary blade came in the box with my Cricut Maker, but if you don't already have one, you can find it linked in the description of this video. To use this blade, you need to insert it into clamp B of your machine and swap out whatever tool you already have loaded. You will also need to use the Cricut Fabric Grip Mat, which is the pink one, to cut your materials. And the adhesive on the fabric mat is a little more finicky than the other mats. The natural oils on your skin and your fingertips can break down the adhesive and affect the way it holds on to your materials. So do your best not to touch the adhesive with your fingers directly. You can use tools like tweezers and a spatula to place and pick up your materials, and that will help to increase the lifetime of your fabric mat. You can create your designs in Cricut Design Space just like you would with any other material. I usually create my designs in Canva and then upload them to Cricut Design Space. The rotary blade moves in all directions and rolls smoothly across your material for a nice clean cut. So it can handle designs that are fairly intricate. Just be careful about designs with very thin lines because your fabric or felt probably won't stay very sturdy if the pieces holding it together are extremely narrow. When you're ready to cut your design, you can select the material you're using and it might automatically tell you to use the rotary blade for that material. But if it suggests a different tool, you can click on the edit tools button and select the rotary blade for your cut instead. Then you can apply your material to your fabric grip mat carefully without touching the adhesive and load it into your machine to complete the cut. Your felt or fabric will likely leave behind little fluffs in the outline of your cut shapes. You can still do more cuts even after this happens, you just may start to lose some of the stickiness of the adhesive over time as more and more fluffs collect. I don't think Cricut recommends cleaning these mats in any way, but I have had success cleaning my fabric mats using baby wipes and it removes all of the fluffs. I have another video tutorial showing you how I do that. And that's it. I absolutely love the rotary blade and have been able to make such amazing projects using felt and fabrics. Let me know in the comments what sort of projects you're using the rotary blade for. I would love to hear your ideas. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what sort of projects you'd like to see in the future. See you later.